Welcome to The Long Run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And this is our recipe of the week. And what is it? Chicken and dumplings. Chicken and dumplings. Let's get to it. Okay, to start off this recipe, we're going to start with three tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to let it uh, heat up on medium-high heat. Okay, so now this is heated up a little bit. We're going to add carrots in there. It did say to use four medium carrots that were peeled and sliced. And um, I just had this from making a different soup recipe like a four, three or four days ago, so we're just using that. No reason to slice carrots when I ain't got to. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're totally guessing on how much carrots we should have added. So that might have been more than we needed. We also have celery to go in it. And if you use onions, you would also be adding that at this time. We don't like the taste or the texture of onions, so we don't add that to our recipes. But you can. And we also got some garlic that we're going to add. We're also adding a teaspoon of thyme and just some salt and pepper to taste. And we're just going to stir that and keep an eye on it until, uh, it says until the onions are soft and translucent, but we don't have onions in there. So we're just going to be looking for the um, celery and carrots to be a little tender. And then we'll start with the next step. All right. As you can see we got a lot of carrots in there. Yeah, we do. We're going to have a very mm. carroty dumpling. Good for your eyesight. Yep. All right. So we're adding 32 ounces of chicken broth, some home homemade cream of chicken soup, mm. but you can use the canned if you want. But be sure to check out in the eye in the sky. There will be a link to the recipe for cream of chicken soup because it takes less than 10 minutes to make that at home and it's probably stuff that you already have in your pantry so we got two cups of water and shredded chicken you want to do that for me don't know why but joel always adds the shredded chicken to whatever we're making <laughs> don't know why I just do <laughs> yep um we had a spatchcock chicken the night before and then we reserved the leftover chicken for this recipe so that's what if you use this for thanksgiving day for after thanksgiving day actually then you would be saving your reserve turkey and then using that in the recipe and place of the chicken yep all right so we'll pick up when he's done with that okay so he finished adding the chicken now we're going to increase the heat just a little bit to a medium high. We're going to get that water boiling. Okay. It's pretty close to it already though. All right. So we have it boiling now. We're going to add, we're going to, we're going to decrease this to temp to low so that it'll just simmer. And it's time to add refrigerated biscuit. We just cut those into four pieces now we're just going to cover we're going to cover and simmer this for 20 minutes all right, so here is the finished product. You see that there? There you go. I don't want to dump it out. Please don't. Hmm. And especially since my laptop is sitting right there. No, nope. we won't do that. Nope. It's really smoking, so. Yeah, it's really hot. It's gonna have a lot of carrots in it. Yeah, it is. Good for your eyesight. So he again, says as he takes off his glasses for the video. Yep. You didn't eat enough carrots as a kid. Um, well, I reckon not. So, as I think I said while we were cooking, uh, our idea was that if you wanted to, if this tastes good, we would recommend that you use leftover turkey meat and have some turkey and dumplings like mm -hmm. the next day. We also have a recipe on our channel that's called, is a Panera copycat of chicken and wild rice. 
and we have done that one with turkey before. Yep. So you could use your leftover turkey for the um, chicken and wild rice. We'll be sure to link that in the description so that you can, um, and in the eye in the sky, so that you can check out that recipe as well. Mm -hmm. I think I would cut that more than four, uh, each biscuit more than four times. Yes, they got really big. Yeah, um, they puffed up. I think I would cut them about like into eight or something. Yeah, I'd definitely do that. But, yeah, because I'm sitting here slicing them up as, a, <laughs> as I'm pulling them up. It's gigantic. They're huge. Uh-huh. And that's, that's a little more uh, dumpling than you want in yeah. one bite. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, I would... Take the recipe. I think the recipe is good. I just think I would make more smaller dumplings. Yeah. yeah. It's not terrible. It's not terrible? It's not terrible. That sounds awful. <laughs> um, it might need a little more flavor or maybe yeah. some kind of like maybe heavy whipping cream. Yeah, something to thicken it up a little bit. Now, yeah. for me, being from the South, I'm used to church pot potluck chicken and dumplings, which this is not quite that. Um, it's, it's a got little really thinner. kind of a thick, thick, thick base to it. Normally, but Normally. this doesn't. It's this more is more of like a, a soupy yeah. soup kind of chicken yeah. and dumplings. So, so um, there is chicken and there is dumplings. So it is chicken and dumplings. It's just not what I'm used to. Is what I would see chicken and dumplings. So. Yeah. So yeah, maybe add like a, you yeah. know, a little cornstarch mm -hmm. and water mixed together or heavy whipping cream yep. or something like that yeah. just to help thicken that uh, base up a little bit mm -hmm. and divide the um, dumplings up more than that. Yep. Okay. Right. But other than that, I think it's good. It might could use maybe a little more seasoning, but that may just be that I didn't add enough salt because, you know, you just add salt to taste. Yeah. And I just go... Boop. So maybe I went enough. But other than that, I think it's good. Yeah, it's not you too bad. It? Not too bad. Yeah, so drop us a comment below. Uh, let us know uh, if you might try this recipe. If you or if you have a chicken and dumplings recipe that you can link to us, we'd love to try those too. Um, mm -hmm. uh, hit us up on the gram if you tried any of our recipes, this one included, and uh, show us some pictures of those and let yep. us know how they turned out. If you mm -hmm. did them like we do them, or if you you know jazzed them up a little bit and improved on them. Just let us know that we won't know that we'll hear that from you as well. Yep. Uh, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notifications bell for updates when we upload new videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and sometimes on the weekend. You never know when we're going to drop one in there on you. Uh, so I think that's going to do it today for the Long Run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. Don't forget to so long run. Give yourself a little break. Bye.